Hey my friends, how you doing? So, um, as you dive into the Lego We Do software, what I thought we could do is we start to think about how do we build confidence in ourselves, confidence in our students, and just kind of build this working awareness in terms of how we could create a project where students are going to be exploring simple machines and mechanisms and creating their own collaborative amusement park or fair or carnival, whatever kind of theme that you want to use. And so what I wanted to do is start you with the beginning brainstorming phases. Some of you maybe have started to dive into the, the kits of the Lego We Do 2.0 and started to build a little bit. Some of you haven't had any time. Some of you are a little unsure about your own abilities and I want to ensure you that you have amazing gifts inside of you. Once we kind of unpack the layers of uh, self-doubt, we can really do some crazy things. So what I want to do is show you where we're going to begin. In your Lego we do 2.0 software, when we get to this screen, whether you're on this or a Chromebook, we're going to go here to Classroom Projects. And when this loads, there are tons of getting started projects that you can be doing on your own just to kind of see how pieces go together. But not all of these obviously apply to amusement park or carnival rides. Um, there are also tons of guided projects and open projects down here that don't may maybe don't fit the theme that we're after, but just to be aware that there are some really cool things you might be able to implement some elements into the designs. But where we want to focus is right up here where this light bulb is. And when we click on this, we're going to see in the model library there are 16 different kind of models. And then you can build out and there's more um, concrete examples. So if we go back up just to number one, for example, it shows us how to create something that wobbles. And they give us an example of a pull robot and then a dolphin. What we're going to be doing is sharing a, a document with you that's going to have each of these model pictures. And I'm not asking you to build them all because I know you don't have the time to do that. But I want you to go in and at least, um, if you're not sure what I mean, what they mean by wobble, you can view it here and you can kind of see how it looks and what it looks like. Um, they can give you, they'll show you how to build it. Um, and then they're going to show you how to code it. But what I want to do and focus on here for ourselves is let's come up with a list of items, rides, things we would see in an amusement park that would utilize, in this case, say the wobble. Where could we see this mechanism being used? Whether it's in a ride, or a concession stand, or people, or logistics. Because in the end, we want to have this robust amusement park that these kids have created. And sometimes the hardest part into the building is trying to see the connection of, like, when am I going to use this? How is this going to fit in with what I need to do? And so we're going to take these. You're going to get a document. And we're just going to brainstorm. And this, I think, will help us with our confidence. Jump online and start to look and see what we could use. I have some models that I'm currently building to send your way. But let's just start the thinking process in terms of how these could be applicable to our classroom and to the project of building this amusement park. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your ideas, collaborating among ourselves, and uh, turning this into a phenomenal learning opportunity for all students. All right, my friends.